Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. Today we're taking a look at how to do diffraction correction. So diffraction correction is something that is important. It is sharpening up images, particularly as we start working with more stopped down aperture values. And diffraction correction is not where you might imagine. M imagine it. First of all, it is not inside of the Refine Tool tab. It's not in here. We've got to go to the shape tool tab in order to find it because it is in the lens correction tool. It's not its own tool. Yeah, a lot of people would look for this by right clicking, going to add tool and trying to find a diffraction removal tool. You won't find it. It is inside of lens correction. So I have here an image shot at F11 and I'm going to turn on diffraction correction. Press Y on the keyboard to do a before and after view and let's take a look here. As I come before and after, we can see, if we take a look, that the image is definitely getting sharper from the diffraction correction. Very nice. So it is beneficial even at f11. Myself, historically, I have not done diffraction correction or thought about it until I've been at f14 or f16 or dimmer. But we can actually see some benefit at brighter aperture values or middling uh, aperture values. Now. A lot of us, myself included, don't really use the shape tool tab because I don't do architecture and keystone work all that often. So a lot of us might actually remove the shape tab and then unknowingly remove having immediate and easy access to diffraction correction. So I would actually take the lens correction tool and place it inside here of the refine tool tab and that's going to give me the ability to add that diffraction correction more easily. Now how far can we push this thing? Here I have an image shot at f11. Uh, sorry this one is shot at f22 uh, and so of course I am losing sharpness due to diffraction. Let's see if we can actually improve this image. I don't expect it to come all the way to the sharpness of f8 but let's see what happens. Turn on diffraction correction and do Y for before and after, and I did brighten it up uh, here, but I think we're seeing at least a little bit. And let's come back to just turning diffraction correction on and off. I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and hold here so that you can see what happens with and without it. And indeed, it's making a little bit of a difference. So it's not working a miracle at uh, f22, but it is adding nicely at f11. So that's where it is. That's how you use it. It's just an on-off switch. Have fun with that. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.